I uh, went into court Thursday at 1.30 p.m. Uh, I was supposed to be there at 1.30 from what the judge verbalized last time. And I showed up, and it rolled around 1.35. The man wasn't there. There's a whole bunch of people in the courtroom. All the, uh, the lawyers and stuff were walking around doing their thing. And I stood up, and I'm, I said, uh, anybody in this courtroom have a claim against I, man, Mark Hollingsworth? Please come forth and state your claim. And uh, nobody came forth. I said it like four more times, not in not right after each other, but in the span of like 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Um, and then I wrote down on a piece of paper. I went back and looked at the piece of paper, and I kind of I forgot to put woman, and I just put man. Um, I put what I said, and I timed. I put the time I was there, and uh, I asked the uh, the bailiff to come over and give it to the uh, the clerk in the court so he could time stamp and date it. She said no. And I was like, okay. So I just walked out of the courtroom, went down to the uh, clerk's office, had a timestamp dated, got three copies, walked back up into the courtroom, still hadn't started yet. It's probably about 140 now, 145. And uh, I didn't know who the solicitor was because uh, the, the girls weren't there that were there last time. So I didn't recognize anybody. Um, I recognized the bailiff, though. She was the same bailiff. They told me no last time that I wanted to give the judge a piece of paper. And uh, I asked one of the lawyers that walked out through the bar, he said, uh, who's, the, uh, who's the prosecutor? And he pointed at the guy in the glasses. So I, uh, I walked over to that guy and I said, are you the, sir, are you the prosecutor? And he said, yes, I am. And I handed him one of those sheets of paper. And uh, he, he looked over at the judge's clerk, and the judge's clerk looked at him and said, no, we're not doing that, shook his head, shook his hand out, and he tried to give it back to me, but I, I pulled my hand back. I was on the other side of the bar, and I walked out of the courtroom. Then I went in my car, or I went back to the uh, court clerk, actually, before I got to my car, and I made sure that they were going to enter that into, into the case. Now, was that the right thing to do? Yeah, we were talking about this a little bit uh, today. You know. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about this the day that it happened. And um, that's what I said to people. Um, you got to give them, uh, and when you walked in there, you said you uh, were looking because for the man or woman who summons you into court at 9 o'clock. And uh, I say to people all the time, it's like, well, let them know that you're present and that you're here for the scheduled appointment at 9 o'clock. And uh, you say, like I said, three times, that you made yourself known to the court that you are now present in court and you're here to settle any matter of any claim of a wrong or a debt. And if no man comes forward, make sure that you go down to the court clerk and say, I made my presence known to the court and that uh, no man has come forward with a claim that I've done something wrong. Now, what, what you were going for was traffic. Now, What's going to happen, I told you, is they're going to suspend your license because they're going to say you failed to appear. So the problem is, is what you're doing works fine as long as you're not in breach of a contract. And they're saying that you were in breach of a contract, so they're going to find you in default because you didn't appear to, to put your, you know, case before the court and say that, no, I'm not in breach of a contract. You didn't let them know that you were not acting under license at the time of the stop and that you were in the wrong, under the wrong jurisdiction. Yes, there might be a venue where they could hear matters of traffic and of doing wrong, but the traffic court had no jurisdiction over you. So for them to summon you into court, they summoned the wrong person. They summoned the licensed driver. And you were not a licensed driver at the time of the stop. That's what you should have put in your notice, that you've got the wrong person. I'm a man transporting my pro uh, going from point A to point B with my property. I'm taking my property from point A to point B. Well, on that day, I took my property from point A to point B. And I, there was no harm, injury, or loss to my fellow man. If you believe I was this person acting as a licensed driver, well, this court would be in error. That's the, what I said. That's how you should have brought it to their attention before you just go into traffic court 
and you stop playing on the common law rules. I say, okay, those are common law rules. The only problem is we're not going to do this today because this is traffic court. Uh, some other day we'll play under the rules of common law man, but we're not going to do that today. And that's what somebody told you, that we're not going to play this today. This is not the game before the court. The game before the court is licensed driver game. That's what we got going on today. This licensed driver game is going to occupy this venue from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock. If you'd like to uh, do something in the court of claims, make a claim, we do that on Tuesdays. But today is Thursday, and we do traffic court here. No, we're not going to play that today. And that's exactly, I think, what you said. Somebody said, no, we're not going to play that today. Because a court is a place where people go to play games. So um, that's what I said to you, you should have done. But uh, like I said, you, you're going to get more practice, as I said to you, somebody like you. I said, God bless you. You're going to get lots of practice. <laughs> you know? So you're going to make a lot of mistakes. And eventually, hopefully, uh, you'll live long enough to get it right. And, uh, oh, man. You so how can something. I correct my error? Tom, but, uh, did you see if your license was suspended yet? You could go to the Georgia website. I'm sure you can because I could do it here in Virginia, and I could find out the status of my license. Did you go to the Georgia website and check out the status of your license after you did that little stunt? No, I did not. Did you ever go to the Georgia website and see how, the status of your license? No, I did not. Mark. Yeah, I did. I went to the Virginia website, and I even got a plus two as a good driver or something, whatever plus two means. I guess it's better than a minus two. But I actually got a plus two on my, uh, when I checked my driver's license status. So that's good. You know, I'm sure plus means good and minus means bad. So, yeah, but if I was you, I'd go on the Georgia website, you know, and uh, check out your status. That's what I would do. See if the court suspended your license for failure to appear. Okay, and if it is suspended... Then you worry about curing it. Then you worry okay. about saying, "Oh, uh, no, it's, you make you, you know you got to address the court by saying, oh, 'Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, yeah, sir, we were playing traffic court that day, and I'm sorry. I was evoking the uh, common law claims court. I'm oh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, let me let me uh, let me make it clear one more time for this traffic court. I was not a licensed. I was not a man acting as a licensed driver at the time of the stop. So you have no jurisdiction over me." I was a man going from point A to point B in my property with my property. Now, if you folks would like to make a claim against me, I believe your claims court is open on Tuesdays and your traffic's on Thursday. But no, I, there's no business for me in traffic court. So, uh, you know, I'm sorry for any uh, misunderstanding, but uh, I certainly don't, uh, you know, was not acting as a uh, licensed driver at the time of the stop. I did not produce my license to the officer at the time. I did not show him a license at the time. I do not believe that uh, a man, there's any requirement of a man to transport his property from point A to point B under a license. If I want to transport my property from point A to point B any place on planet Earth, I believe the man has that uh, capacity and man can do as he, you know, as long as he doesn't hurt another man, harm another man while he's doing it. And that's what I'm willing to do. I'm going to move, go from, move from point A to point B on planet Earth with my property. <laughs> 